neighbor, hi. Hope you weren't looking at me. See me talking to myself. People are just coming left and right. I'm just paranoid that people can hear me because I've got my windows open. CR Media Gal here. Welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe the amount of clothing that I have collected over the last couple months. Holy crap. I wish you guys could see the, the amount that I actually have here, but if you continue watching, then you'll know soon enough. I got a lot of fall and spooky clothes this year. Again, I've been collecting this for the last several months, so probably since May through to fairly recently. If you like hauls, if you like plus size fashion, if you like fall and spooky fashion in particular, you're in the right place. I have everything ranging from unique vintage and mod cloth, which are some of my absolute favorite brands, to places like Target, Amazon, independent shops, so on and so on. This is quite possibly the biggest haul I have done on this channel. Definitely the biggest fashion haul I've done. Yikes, I am cut off, I am cut off. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Andrea, also known as Sierra Media Gal in the fandom and fan fiction world. I do a lot of different content on this channel. Like I said, I do a lot of plus size fashion, as well as a lot of autumnal and spooky related content. I would love if you would consider hitting the subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos from me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Engagement really pushes my content out there and I have big goals for this channel. And be sure to go and follow me on my other social medias as well, particularly my Instagram if you wanna see me styling a lot of these pieces that I will be showing you. No more jabbing. If you're a long time subscriber, you know that my hauls tend to be long anyway. So let's dig in. I'm excited to show you all this stuff. I will start with the single piece that I bought recently from Old Navy. And I actually wore it in my Halloween decor haul part two. Yeah, with the tag still on because I don't know where my head is half the time. And it is this standard black t-shirt, but not so standard. It says creep it real with a skeleton hand given the peace sign on it. I thought this was so cute when I was out at the outlet shopping with my friend that I just, I had to pick it up. I believe this was at most $10. Old Navy is so, so affordable. Um, I got it in an XL and I would say it's pretty true to size. It's nice and soft. I've already gotten a ton of wear out of it so far. Next, I will show you the only piece that I purchased from Torrid, and this was a pretty recent purchase. I tend to never buy from Torrid unless they're having a sale, because I just find that they are overpriced. They came out with a Hocus Pocus line. This t-shirt, as soon as I saw it, it went right in my cart, because I am a sucker for anything with Binks on it, clearly. And it's this adorable Binks Hocus Pocus shirt. How? cool is that? I love that it's got like kind of a vintage design. Not to get on a side rant, but a lot of the Disney official Hocus Pocus merch is really cartoonish and I'm really not into that, which I think is why I, I love shirts like this that hint at Hocus Pocus but aren't in your face and also are not very like kind of childlike looking. Plus, you don't tend to see much apparel with Binks on it. It's usually the Sanderson sisters, which is totally cool if that's your thing but Binks is my favorite character. So th this was a no-brainer for me. It says, I shall always be with you. Oh, it feels. With Binks here, sitting on top of Emily Binks, is tombstone, and it just reads, R.I.P. Here lies body of Emily Binks, beloved daughter and sister, died 31st of October, 1693. There's a book with Hocus Pocus here at the bottom. And I loved that it has um, some lace detailing here at the bottom. I thought that was something different. I wish you guys could feel this through the screen. It's super soft. I got this in a 1X. It's fairly large. I actually considered going down to the 0X. I don't know. I, I like that it's a looser design anyway, so it doesn't bother me. It was over $40. I did have a birthday coupon code to use, so I think I saved like $10 on this. Still kind of overpriced, but I feel like something like this is worth it. Just because of the design and the lace detailing. Absolutely love 
love this. Next, moving into Target. I did actually wear these in another recent video of mine, my Halloween decor part three video. I just wore these spooky pajama set. Last fall, I bought the leaves pajamas and they are like my absolute favorite, but I decided I don't have a spooky PJ set and that this was the year. I got mine in a women's XXL. I'm not sure why. I probably, I would have totally been fine with an XL or even a large, because these definitely do, I'd say, run large. They're, they're super comfortable. They've got this really fun vintage design, which is really like my Halloween decor theme. Ghosts, bats, spiders, pumpkins, bones, spider webs, even a crest moon in there. Orange, black, white, and some yellow. They're long sleeved. I'm sorry. You've been here a while. Wouldn't be a video of mine if there wasn't vacuuming going on, right? We'll um, just carry on and try to ignore that. I apologize though. And then the pants are just these long jogger style ones. So I would say if you're not sure what size to get, you could probably size down in these. I definitely could have gone with an XL at least. I don't know why I went with an XXL. They fit fine, they're just kind of loose. I would rather my PJs be on the looser side than like fitted and tight, so. These, I think, I don't remember offhand because I bought these a while ago. I want to say maybe like 20 to $25. And then I figured I would throw these in here because I highly recommend them. They're kind of basic, but again, highly recommend. I bought a set of two pairs of these Universal Thread Low Cut socks. To make a long story short, a friend of mine purchased these and threw them in with like a Christmas gift for me last year. And I loved them so much that I immediately got on Target's website to see if I could buy any more and they were out of them. These do sell out fast and I can understand why. Literally the softest socks I've ever put on my feet. I'm a type one diabetic and I live in fussy socks in the fall and winter. These are a lifesaver. I think these are like maybe $5. And then I was just at Target the other day. I was looking around in the bullseye playground area and just purchased these two sets of long socks. Oh shoot, I got the bigger size of the two. Well, these were $5. Loved the color scheme of these. They totally remind me of fall. So the first one is like this rustic brownish orange color with like these orange yellow and brighter orange stripes. And then this one is a cream pair with the same line design at the top. These feel super soft. Again, I live in socks and I go through them like crazy. So decided to stock up on these. I thought I would throw these in. I got these as a birthday gift. I had them on my Amazon wish list. And they're just these twisted headbands. But what I like about these is that they're super stretchy, but they're also thinner than a lot of the twisted velvet headbands that you see. I have a couple of these now in several different colors, but they're all like significantly thicker. Came in a pack of four. I'm wearing the mustard, but it also comes in this beautiful forest green color, a black, and I love burgundy, dark, rich wine red. They're quite stretchy too, so I feel like you can wear these majority of the day and be like not get a headache. I think these were like $12 on Amazon. If I can link them below, I will. Next is a piece that I have previously shown on this channel, but I wanted to throw it in here because it fits the theme, <laughs> and it is this gorgeous, humongous cauldron tote bag. This is freaking amazing. One of my favorite purchases I've made this year. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it because I have an entire video devoted to this cauldron purse, which you can watch. I will put a card up here and uh, down in the description for you. This is by the brand The Beheaded. They're a small independent shop. I believe it's a single seller who's designing all of these. Isn't that amazing? So gorgeous. I bought this on sale at the time. I think it's originally like $95, $100 and I got it for 80. The quality of this bag makes it worth that price. Plus it's an independent shop. She makes all of these herself. Like, I mean, totally worth it. I didn't mention it in my video, but there's also a mini version of this golden purse, which I believe is around the $60 range. So if you're interested in this, but you don't want to spend that kind of price or you don't want anything this large, there is a mini version and it is super adorable. Next is a purchase I made a little over a month ago. I have been eyeing sweaters 
for literally two or three years. Finally, I saved up enough that I thought, okay, this is the year that I'm going to invest in one of those sweaters. It's the Keel James Patrick infamous leaves sweater. How stunning is this? I love it. You'll see all the famous Instagrammers and YouTubers wearing this. It's green with a ton of the orange and like golden yellow leaves all over the front and back. It's long sleeved. It's got his stitched tag in here. I bought a large. I probably could have gotten a medium. These run fairly large. So I guess it depends on whether you would like to have yours more fitted or not. I would actually almost prefer to have this more fitted. I opted not to return it. I decided to keep the large. At the time when I purchased this, the sweater had just popped up on their website and they only had the green, but they now have like a mustard version and a cream version. And to be honest with you, I almost wish I would have gotten one of those instead. <laughs> it's been over a month, so I can't return it, but like I wouldn't return it anyway. These are not cheap. They are over a hundred dollars. I did have a discount code. It didn't get me much off. I think it might've been like 15% off for like signing up for their emails. So if this is something that you're after, at least sign up for the emails and you will get a little bit of a discount. They do have some like fall related sweaters that are that are under $100. It just depends on like the design and the look that you want. I really wanted the leaves one. There's also a fox one that I haven't seen up on the website or come back this year. Actually, I would have bought over this one if it was available, but uh, and I got the leaves one. The only thing I will say that I was surprised by, and unfortunately, I don't know my materials, so don't think that this is wool or it might be like some kind of a wool blend. It's very itchy. So this is not something that for me personally, I would feel comfortable wearing without something underneath. I feel like, you know, if I'm gonna invest that kind of money in a piece, I feel like it should be softer, not itchy. <laughs> if you have sensitive skin, something to be aware of. I've wanted this for over two years now. This is my baby. This is getting locked up and only worn for special occasions. But how beautiful is it? I can't believe I finally own this. Next, moving on to Mod Cloth. I have a couple pieces here to show you. A lot of them though, I bought secondhand off of Poshmark. So unfortunately they aren't available. There are two here that as of the day that I'm filming this are still available. Starting with this gorgeous, totally on brand, totally on theme, purple cardigan. This was a Mod Cloth and Collective collaboration. I definitely don't remember seeing this on the website last year. So I have a feeling it's, it's at least a year old, if not longer. It's a UK size 18, which like equivalates to like a US size 14. Fits me perfectly. It's got these pretty purple buttons all down the front. But I mean, what sold me was the gorgeous, this orange, acorns and leaves that are embroidered all over the front, all over the back. It's stunning. I didn't think I'd really be into the whole jewel tone trend that's going on right now, but apparently I am. I don't have a lot of purple in my wardrobe and I wouldn't think like purple and orange together, especially for fall, but I love this cardigan. Like that leaf sweater though, I will say it's kind of itchy. And I haven't been able to decide if it's because if it was made that way, which surprises me because I, I bought Collective and Mod Cloth pieces before that are much softer than this. So I, I, I don't know, still love it. I think I might've paid like $25 for this. It's in pretty good condition. So I wasn't willing to go above that. I love this, absolutely love this. Those leaves are just so, so sweet. I'm clearly a sucker for all the fall fashion. Next is a mod cloth piece that uh, might look familiar to you. If they're not familiar to you, I purchased these exact ginger colored corduroy overalls last winter. And I showed them in my Black Friday and Christmas sale haul eight, nine months ago now, maybe not even. And I bought them on sale and they were a final sale no return. I bought them in a 1X and in that video, I mentioned that I was surprised that they run kind of big. I've actually dropped weight. I've dropped about 25 pounds. So now those overalls are way too big on me and they were big on me to begin with. So I've been very patient and I've just been kind of keeping my eye out and lo and behold, somebody on Poshmark was selling theirs in the XL. 
And I think originally they were like 45 and I offered like 35 and they accepted. So I'm thrilled that I was able to get these in a smaller size because I, I really do love these. They're this gorgeous, like I said, I think on the website they were called ginger. They look like pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice overalls. Love the color, love the cut. It's a straight cut. Pockets on the side, a pocket on the chest area. The straps are adjustable. The only thing is these do look, a, the color looks a little bit faded. Okay, apparently my camera cut me off, so I don't even know what I was saying about <laughs> these overalls. As I was saying, my pair that I've only worn a handful of times, I can tell a difference in the color a little bit. Mine is a little bit richer. So um, I'm a little bit devastated about it because I love these so much and I really don't want to sell my other ones, my One X's, but like, I know I have to. So if you are into these at all and you are a One X, if you run more on the 16 to borderline 18 size, these will fit you perfectly. We'll be selling the One X on my Poshmark. I always keep a link down in the description. I will pop a link up here on screen as well for you. But yeah, I'm devastated to be selling those because they're like in brand new condition basically, but the color's still gorgeous. I, I love these overalls. I'm thrilled that I finally managed to find these in an XL. And then another piece I bought off of Poshmark. It's actually brand new with tags. Is this really pretty chunky knit sweater? With all these like bubble diamond designs. I know that Chicklish? They sell this sweater and it's like 80 or $90. So the fact that apparently Mod Cloth at some point came out with their own version of it, I was excited to see this because I've been eyeing the Chick Wish one for a while. I'm sure it was still pretty pricey. The seller on Poshmark sold this to me. I think I might've offered like 35 again and they took it. The thing is the pictures that they provided were the official pictures from the Mod Cloth website. And on the Mod Cloth website, this looks like a off white color, whereas like in person, it's like borderline pale yellow. Yeah, you know, with Poshmark, unless, you know, something is damaged, you can't return it. And I've decided I'm gonna rock it. I'm just really afraid of how to wash this. I'm assuming I'd probably just have to hand wash this. It looks like it would be itchy, but it's super, super soft. If you're interested in this piece, keep an eye out on places like Poshmark or Macari. Are you still with me? I still got more to show you. And then this is another piece from Poshmark. It's listed as being from Mod Cloth, and I feel like maybe it was last year or the year before, I, I recognize this print. I haven't seen it on Mod Cloth's website this season. It's this really beautiful, spooky, full circle skirt. It's not listed as Mod Cloth, though. This is by the brand Mode Mirror. You can see the tag there. I have gotten rid of a lot of my full circle and like long A-line skirts because I have found through trial and error, full circle and longer skirts just kind of make me look boxy and heavier. And I think it's just because of my height. I'm just under 5'4 and I have a really short torso. I literally go from boobs to hips. There's like no in between there. So um, I find like usually skirts like this don't work out too well for me, but I made an exception for this one because look at that adorable vintage spooky design. Owls, scaredy cats, pumpkins, crescent moons, bats. You've even got witches flying on brooms. This is everything in a Halloween skirt, isn't it? Even better. It's got pockets in an XXL. Really no stretch in the waistline, but it fits me perfectly. I have a full circle collective leaf skirt that I will keep forever. It's like my pride and joy. And I figure if there's any full circle skirt that I'm willing to make an exception for and will keep, I needed a spooky version too. I'm thinking for trick or treat night when greeting the trick or treaters that this will get worn. Because I am that extra. Love this. And then the last two items I have to share from you from my cloth are from this season. So you should still be able to purchase them if you're interested. Now the first is these plaid leggings. It's this really pretty fun, kind of 70s retro plaid design in a mustard yellow. There's some purple and pink and white in there. I thought these would be really fun with a lot of darker, moodier sweater colors that I have in my wardrobe. I got these in a 1X and I'm, I'm finding 
um, since I've dropped some weight that at least with mod cloth and unique vintage, I find that their sizing um, tends to run large. So I'm thinking either of just returning these or exchanging them for the XL. I've spent so much money on fall and Halloween decorations and fashion the last couple months that like I feel like these are something I could potentially live without. I'm on the fence if I will return these or if I will exchange the size. But they're very, very soft and very stretchy. If you're a true 1X, these will fit you perfectly. If you're in between sizes, definitely size down. These I got during the recent Labor Day sale. So I paid less than 30. I think I paid like 27 for these. And I don't remember offhand how much they are on the website. It might be like 35 to 40, somewhere in that range. And then the last piece is an accessory. It's these pair of cute cats with bat wings. Get real. Those are so stinking cute. I'm all about the vintage black cat, apparently for both my Halloween decor, but that skirt, these earrings, I, I love them. But I mean, the fact that he's got bat wings, I mean, that was too cute. Um, again, I, I got it as part of the Labor Day sale. So I think I saved like 20 to 25% on these. I think they're normally close to 20, but... You do the math, I got them for less than that. Moving on to an independent shop that I wanted to share with you. She's actually on Etsy. She goes by Luna Moon Gothic. I'd been eyeing this Hocus Pocus skeleton musician, or I should say skeleton singer pin. They sold out very quickly. And then when she came back with another limited stock, it was down to like there being one or two left when I happened to be looking on Etsy. And I thought, okay. Now's the time, I gotta buy it. There's a banner at the bottom that says, I put a spell on you, which is of course the famous song that he sings. And it's a decent size too. I don't know if I should reveal this or not, but um, I totally had a crush on the skeleton singer from Hocus Pocus when I was a kid. Anybody else? And if you're willing to admit it, leave a comment down below. I totally crushed on this dude. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I question my taste sometimes too, but. And she included a bunch of other personal goodies with this purchase. I love that about small independent Etsy shops. I will leave a link to her down below if you would like to go and check her out. She has a ton of Halloween designs on there from so many different spooky movies. Yeah, I'm excited to both add this to my collection, but I will personally definitely be wearing it as well. Unique vintage. You knew I was gonna have to get something from their Halloween line. Nobody does spooky apparel like they do. But starting with something not so spooky, I ordered this beautiful skirt. I think it was during their Labor Day sale because I figured this will be very versatile. I'll be able to wear it all fall, winter, even in spring and summer if I want to, because it's quite lightweight. It's this really pretty mustard mini scalloped skirt. The scallop design at the bottom was what sold me. Beautiful, lightweight corduroy. Buttons all down the front, but you really don't have to worry about them popping open because I mean, it's unique vintage, it's good quality. Nice deep pockets, but originally ordered this in a 1X and I'm really not a true 1X in a lot of their clothes anymore. So I ended up exchanging this and getting the XL instead. This isn't unique vintages brand. This is Smock. Parlor. There's the tag for you. Yeah, this has significant stretch, a lot of stretch. If you are between sizes again, this is something that you could totally size down in and be fine. They had this in a beautiful navy color as well, and I really wanted that, but they were out of my size. And I don't even think it's on the website anymore because they're just, they're out. If I can still link the mustard color below, I will for you. Perfect fall color, right? Next is another unique vintage piece, but I didn't actually purchase this from their website. I ended up purchasing it from a website that I have mentioned before. If you watched my Strange Cult unboxing, I mentioned that Salem, Massachusetts, small shop, die with your boots on, carries unique vintage. And when I was making a purchase there from them, I decided to buy these as well, because these are another item that I've literally been looking at for the last two Octobers in a row. These high-waisted jack-o'-lantern pumpkin pants. I think they're called the Rizzo pants. Vintage retro style pants. They remind me of leggings. They just, they have a zipper on the side. Maybe that's like the only difference. I don't, I don't know. 
this adorable print all over them, these happy jack-o'-lanterns. Unique Vintage has this print in a number of different styles. I figured I would probably get the most use out of the pants. The only disappointment about these is the material. It feels like polyester-esque. You hear that? Not like the softest material. But yeah, other than that, they are very comfortable. So they run big. I ordered these initially in a 1X. I decided they were so stretchy and had so much room in them that I could try going down. Die With Your Boots On was phenomenal to work with. And I will say they're very quick on exchanges. I will link them down below in the description for you as well. I feel like I just keep repeating myself, but if you are between sizes, you can definitely size down. I'm super, super excited to wear these for basically all of October. Another piece that I did buy during the Labor Day sale on Unique Vintage's website, unfortunately, I don't have it to show Show you because it's on back order hoping I'll be able to wear it for the Halloween season but um who knows unique vintage sometimes does take a while to ship it's the same brand as corduroy skirt smack parlor pumpkin black retro style dress I will pop a picture up here now that I've had experience trying the smack parlor brand i have a feeling i might be exchanging the size on that one again which just means that i definitely probably won't get to wear it this year for halloween which stinks it's like it's an expensive dress it's like 80 dollars and Again, I think I got it for like 20, 25% off. And then this is a piece that I devoted an entire video to that I bought from Die With Your Boots On, but it's the Strange Cult unboxing. I'm gonna throw them in here because they're on brand with the rest of what I'm showing you. Black and white striped jack-o'-lantern flats. Aren't they so freaking cute? These are from their Halloween edition and these all generally run around the 60 to $70 range. You can get Strange Cult shoes on a number of different websites, not just their website, Website. So if you're finding that like they're out of their your size, you can go other places. And that's what led me to buying from Die With Your Boots On for the first time. I decided on the black and white stripe. I love black and white stripe apparel anyway. And I just thought these were just a little different than just getting them in the standard orange. Yeah, I love these. I'm so excited to start wearing these. This is taking forever. <laughs> kind of half mortified by how much stuff I've got here. This last piece deserves its own video and it will be coming. It'll be up shortly after this. It is this headless horseman purse. I can't believe I own this. Like the cauldron purse, this is probably my favorite spooky purchases I've made. I decided I needed to have the headless horseman purse because if you've been here a while, you know that like I, I have a weird fascination with the Headless Horseman. Spooky Hollow is one of my favorite movies in general, but also like Halloween movies. But I actually grew up on the Disney version. So the Disney version is actually like my absolute favorite. And it's what started my love of the Headless Horseman. I recently got the Headless Horseman statue from Marshalls. You can see that all in my Halloween decor part two haul. I'm a big Sleepy Hollow nut. <laughs> so this was like right up my alley. It comes in the black and white or a red background. The really creepy Sleepy Hollow Tree. There's the Headless Horseman with his axe and the horse. I love that it's circular in shape. That's a bit different. Comes with a long strap. However, um, it doesn't come with a separate strap, but this one is adjustable. The inside has this gorgeous Sleepy Hollow print. Let me see if I can show you on the other side here. Yeah, you can see a little bit more of it. It also has Sleepy Hollow embedded in the back. The quality of this is unreal. I'm gonna butcher the name and I apologize. La Femme Noir. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. They're like a retro design brand. This is from the Sleepy Hollow line. I love everything in that line. The print that's on the inside is being sold as a dress and also as a skirt, but you can also get the Katrina Van Tassel dress. It's like a replica of the one that uh, Christina Ricci wears in the movie. I would love to buy that dress. That's like goals to me. This purse is close to a hundred. It's like 90 to a hundred dollars. I got it on sale during um, the Labor Day sale. So I think I paid closer to like between 75, 79. Not cheap. But this is something that came out, I believe, last year. Said no at the time. And this year I decided I was saying yes to everything that I want. I, so my wallet is not very happy with me, but I love this. I mean, oh my God. I now own a Headless Horseman purse. Life complete. So that is it. That is my massive fall and Halloween fashion haul. 
I don't need anything else for a while. I will say every time that I do purchase something new for my closet, I always take stuff out. I'm not just buying heaps of stuff and not like getting rid of stuff. Yeah, I totally overdid it this year. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you watched to the end, thank you so, so much. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far and you enjoyed it. I really appreciate that. Be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a subscriber here. I do a lot of this kind of content. So uh, you can go back through my videos and see more of that if you're interested. We, we're going to probably take a break from the hauls because I've been done. I need to be done for a while. And be sure to go and follow me on my other social medias. You can see a lot of the fall and fashion content that I've been posting over on my Instagram. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye. Oh my God, 18 minutes in. Guys, that is so loud. And I'm, I'm not even halfway through this. Holy crap. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Uh, mod call. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. What? I need help. SOS.